Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leagues video. We ended the last episode as a rank 300 in league and in today's episode, I think the plan is simple. It is time to fully bis out our account. Will I be able to reach it today? I'm not sure. Will I be able to reach it tomorrow? Still not sure. For all I know, I could go forever dry for Mazori Chaps but we will attempt to hopefully fix the Mazori Chap situation, but I also want to grind out points in this league, so expect a lot of Vorkath, bossing, just general points. That's basically my goal. Let's not keep the intro too long, let's jump right into it. Alright, we left off the last episode with about 14 million, basically 15 million in cash. One of my first goals was to get to 25 million, so I could go ahead and make a demonic throne in my house for points. That is still my goal, and the way I'm gonna achieve that is by doing a little bit of Warcath and just in general Slayer. So, my Slayer is only 18.5 mil, we need to get superiors, we need to get 25, 32, and then 50 million Slayer XP, all for amazing points. So, I guess the plan right now is simple, do Warcath for as long as I have the Blue Dragon task, and then keep doing Slayer or keep doing Warcath, depending what I'll be in the mood for. But, before we continue on with the video, I would like to talk about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is an identity protection service. Have you ever been in a situation where you're just hanging out with friends, you go on Google, and you decide that you're gonna write your name and search for some personal information, only to find out that information such as your phone number, maybe even your house address, is publicly available. And maybe you are like me, and you don't want that information to be publicly available. So this is where Aura jumps in. They will delete that information from the internet for you. What they do is they scour the internet for all the information, and they simply delete it. They also monitor your credit. They check to make sure your phone number is not being handed out to robocallers, meaning if you're ever being spam called by numbers you do not want to have a contact with, they can get rid of that as well. But they will also alert you whenever there was a data breach and some of your passwords might be compromised. There is honestly a lot that Aura does to protect you and your family from online threats that you can't see. Aura is extremely easy to set up, as it is a one-in-all app, meaning you will get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password manager, identity theft insurance, everything at one simple compact app at a very affordable price. So I challenge you to sign up, give it a shot, and see how much of your personal information is leaked online, and then decide if you're comfortable with that information being out there or if you simply want to get rid of it. I was personally very surprised when I saw how easy it is to find personal information of some of my very old friends. So you can either let people continue to exploit and profit off of your private information or you can simply go to aura.com slash MikaRS, start your free two-week trial and simply get rid of the information you don't want publicly available. As always, thank you so much for Aura for providing such an amazing app and sponsoring today's episode. There is 150 Vorkath defeated, 80 points. At 300, we get another 80, but I'm probably gonna end up doing a lot more uh, Vorkav just in general because of the bones, because of the money, and because of the visage. I do need to get the visage drop in order to equip, well, all three visages, basically. It's gonna be quite a process to get there, but for now, a little bit more Slayer, maybe a little bit more AFK. Let's uh, see if we get uh, any good tasks. So if you guys do not know, what we are going for are mainly superior tasks. So anything that drops superiors is basically what we are after. We got a task of Dagonoff Kings and I need to kill 300 of each Dagonoff. So we're going to be here for a bit. Let's see if we get any drops. I mean, I have everything from this place already. So everything is going to be a dupe. Uh, but let's see how long it takes. Here's the first axe. Archer's Ring. I'm not sure when it happened, but the total points being at exactly 60,000. Looks so damn good, not gonna lie. Uh, I've also started to fire make while I do these bosses. I don't have many logs though, so maybe I'll do some giant mall or something like that. But usually, whenever I need to wait for stuff, I just do uh, some form of skilling. Whether it's fletching, whether it's fire making, something that I can do on the side. Mod battle staff. I think I'll just start alking these, I don't really need them. Warrior ring. And I started doing both caves, so I do the slayer cave. I loot my bones, and then I leave, and then I do standard cave. It makes things a little bit faster. We got another archer's ring. Couple more dragon axes as well. Another archer. We got 70 to go. Here's another B ring as well. I think it's time for me to hit the bank real quick. I got too much stuff in my inventory. Another zerk ring. Another zerk ring. We got 24 to go. And yeah, I'll only do this on task, because this is much faster. I can go up, kill one, go down, kill the other. It's good. 
little warrior ring and we are just about done let me pick up this i'm also gonna arg this don't need it pick up that three more and we're done here's a little choke devil i should really be doing these with chins but uh yeah i'm just tagging all of them and then afking basically we are still hoping for an eternal gem because well we need it and we get nothing from this one Superior number three of the task and I'm gonna be doing regular slayer all the way until I eventually kill 100 superiors I do believe that's the last thing I need to do. No eternal gem from this one Another choke devil. Maybe this one drops it It did not drop it And the last one at the very end of the task. Let's see if this one has something And again nothing I'm gonna be doing some next but I'll just do it in a mass world I think because I don't need to do solos anymore I would do it with like trios, I feel like. Okay, so I just went to a next world, got a little, uh, how should we call it? A little trio here, and uh, let's see if trios are much chiller than solos. They should be, I don't need a specific item. Yeah, they should be pretty relaxing, I think. Obviously, if you guys are unfamiliar, uh, we are looking at Torva Helm and Torva Legs, and then I green log this boss. I have the pet, I have the crossbow i got the torva body so far okay first next back doing some trios start off with cannonballs and super restores oh and he got torva plate body well i'm happy i didn't get that <laughs> i have like three of those okay let's see can we get a back-to-back -back with the trio nope oh my he three kills and he got the torva body and the ancient hilt oh he's getting lucky okay next kill we get uh, just supplies uh, we get some soul runes and coins in the next kill. 168 kill count. No, we get some soul runes and air runes. Nothing in this one again. And in this one we get, again, nothing, unfortunately. Let's take a look. Is this the one? It is in fact not the one. My last skill for now, I'm probably gonna go ahead and AFK maybe woodcutting to 50 mil next. Uh, but let's see if we get something on the very last skill. Oh, he died. Oh, and I get Zarite Vampresses, but that's my fourth one. No. No, another pair of Zarite Vamps. Damn it, that could have been it, man. That could have been it. All right, well, we will take it, and we will go ahead and do a little bit of vlogging right now. It's something about this last kill of the day, man. I always get something, uh, but it's never the right thing. But that's okay, we'll take it. You know, it's a nice addition to the bank. So, 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 hold on a second, yeah? I was just gonna go back to next, and then I noticed I have a pet. And then I click this, and I noticed I have 200 more points. So at some point while I was AFKing woodcutting, I actually got my first killing pet. Don't know when it happened, but we got it, it's right here. Another pet on the leagues, which is really sick. And now I'm up to 44.3 million woodcutting XP. So only gonna do this for six more mil XP. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Let's see, let's see. Coins and cannonballs. Another kill. And we get uh, blood runes. Okay, let's see what we get from this. I like the kills when they're this fast, to be honest. Nothing. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. And we get blood runes and water runes. Diamonds and air orbs. We get some ruby diamonds and... Wait, we get some rubies and some diamonds, I guess. Let's see what we get from this. Oh, we got some nihil shards, 40 of them. Another kill. And back-to-back -back nihil shards, 37 this time around. We get some dragon bolts. Dragon bolts are always amazing. And I think all of my onyx bolt tips that I have, I'm gonna attach onto my dragon bolts. And then I will be turning those into money, basically, by alking them. We get some blood runes and rubies. Diamonds restores bruise. I'm taking a quick break, making all of our bolts. So I have something to alk to keep working towards our 125 million cash stack. It feels so weird, Alking, Onyx, Dragon Bolt, Enchanted, but I have so many runes, I got so many Dragon Bolts, really. And uh, I think I'll Alk until I get to around 200, and then I won't Alk anymore. But I'm getting very close to 25 mil cash stack, so that's the first milestone. Some solo runes and coins. Okay, a little duo for some uh, rubies and water rune. Some rubies and prayer potions. KC 188 one already, and I will be trying to go all the way to 300 KC. Because that's the last point task, and then obviously if we don't get lucky, I do want to finish full Torva, because that's 400 points right there. 
Okay, this one is it. I feel it. I am feeling it right here. It is not it. We'll take it though. We keep going. Oh, some Nihil shards on KC190. This one is really nothing. Ecumenical keys and prayer potions. Wait, maybe I could make all of these ecumenical keys and then just all all of them. I didn't think about that, but that would probably be a decent way to make some money. Okay, let's see. How does this even work? Can I just keep combining them and then I alk them? Since when can you not alk ecumenical keys? Dude, I swear that used to be a thing. I'm trolling. Uh, Dragon Bolts, nice, and Blood Rune. Wait, 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 I didn't see it. Uh, Magister got a Torva plate body. He said, ah, oh, fuck, so I think this is something he already has. No back-to-back -back situation. We get some Rune Ore, though, which is not too bad. KC195, we got some Rubies and some Zamorak. And we get some uh, Rubies, so nothing too crazy there. And last kill of the day, we lead B again, the something. It's usually something always on the last kill, but this time we do not get anything. I'm gonna go prepare the AFK right now and I'm gonna chill for the night. However, Rune Ore is not the worst drop. Okay, some early morning Duan X. Let's see if we get something. Start off with Death Runes and Coins. We get some Dragon Bolts and we are now over 200 KC. So 99 to go for points. Some Blood Runes, Restores and Brews. Soul Runes and Ecu Key Shards. Some Diamonds, the very next KC. No. No, I'm MVP and he got the Torva full helm. No, I'm gonna say grats, but I'm tilted as fuck. <laughs> I need this. Okay, we're back in business. Some uncuts, some prayer potions, some uncut diamonds, some coal in the next one. Since it is quite late, I'm gonna go ahead and do my Slayer task of Dagonoffs. I'm still gonna work towards 300 KC on all the bosses. Here's a little B-ring and we're getting very close to 150 KC. Little Sears. And there we go, an 80 pointer for 150 kills of each. Halfway there. All right, and with this kill, this should be the full task completed. We actually got a uh, decent amount of drops that I didn't record because I was playing on a laptop. But we got up to basically 21 million Slayer XP and our kill count is in the 200s right now. So basically two more Dagonov tasks and we are fully completed with these bosses. Uh, that's pretty good. I'm probably gonna do a little bit more chill Slayer, push up to 25 million Slayer XP. All right, so what I'm doing right now is a Jad task, but I am not praying and I'm trying not to lose a single prayer point. I don't know how much these guys will hit me. It might hurt for all I know, but my solution to this problem is by just simply never praying. Just getting hit by every spell and just never turning the prayer on. And we'll see if that's a good strategy. But I also need to not get hit by these Tuz Kih guys. That's basically the whole idea. These guys, bad. If they hit me, the run is ruined. Okay, so I guess the wave that's coming right now will be the hardest because there's two majors. And I really should be flicking, but like, I don't wanna... <laughs> I don't wanna mess it up, let's put it that way. Let's see, as long as I can isolate one, it should be fine. Okay, I see it's gonna spawn up there, so that's pretty decent. Okay, we kill this one first. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Here I would like to intentionally die. But I didn't. I'll have to do it again, where the healers don't uh, heal him. But I'll worry about this next time, so I've done the... Yeah, you didn't say anything about a bat, so I didn't get hit by a bat a single time. Then I also should have done no time for a drink. So this is the one where I haven't used a single prayer potion and we have another cape. So if I look at the combat tasks, we've done the two annoying ones, I'd say. So if we look at the Jad, I'll obviously be killing Jad more. I'm going to be doing uh, this five times and then I'll do the full melee one probably once I have the full Torva and killing it without the healers touching it should honestly be quite easy all I need to do is be low HP before the jet get one hit die basically I kill it with my retribution oh this is the melees okay so this is the melees can't heal and this is the Jad uh, can't get healed all right so all of these seem very doable so we'll work towards completing those in the future <laughs> If I want to get to 50 mil farming, I really should be starting to, let's just say, do this more often, but uh, it is what it is. Nice little 750k XP there. Little superior uh, jelly over here. Let's take a look if uh, we can finally land on an eternal gem. We've done almost 75 superiors, which is also a point task, and then we need another point task for 100 superiors. Do we get eternal? We do not. 
Now let's take a look. Another superior. And no eternal gem. Another one. Third time's the charm. Come on, little eternal gem situation. Ah, we got another dust battle step. I think that's number three or maybe four. I got 100 blue dragons, meaning that is 100 Vorkath. However, I don't feel like doing Vorkath at the moment. Problems, I know. Let's just go ahead and do a little bit of Giant Mole. I do need to kill 300 of it. Or actually, let's scratch that idea and do a little bit of Maspa instead. Now, if we quickly take a look into our combat tasks and we look for Maspa, we are only missing one task, meaning we just need to do the Phantom Maspa Manipulator. I'll figure out if I can do this and I'll go ahead and do it. That's easy points right there. I want to get it done. I'm also going to go ahead and alloc all of my Dragon Axes, aside from two, because I'm really only missing 3 million woodcutting XP, so this can all be turned into money. But uh, yeah, Maspa should be easily doable, so let's get it done. Okay, so I'm kind of failing right now, but I'm sure at some point I I'm gonna hit it. Basically, I only need to walk, never miss a prayer flick, get all the spikes around, and basically not get hit by any avoidable damage, so it's just gonna take a few attempts. Okay, that should do it if I don't mess it up here on the last attempt. Okay, that spikes everywhere. I've dodged all the avoidable damage, and I've walked through the whole kill, so that should be it. Light work 200 points for completing all of the combat achievements. Now I can just grind out the KC, not worry about the details, and I can just go ahead, kill it 300 times, get all the points from this boss. Now it should be a breeze. Beautiful. Only took me three kills, three attempts, and we got it done. Sick. Also, shout out to my comment section. If you have an ancient icon, you can use Pestle and Mortar, and it turns into 5,000 essence. If we look into my essence situation, we now have 72,000. I think I need 150,000 to saturate my heart. So how about we go ahead and we do a couple of Maspa kills. But first, I noticed I have all of these dragon javelin heads. And if you guys do not know, these actually alk for a decent amount. I actually need to make them into javelins first because it's also experience. But I do believe the only way to do that is by having a regular logs. And then using, obviously, knife to make the javelin shafts. I don't think you can make javelin shafts from any other logs. And how about we try this out just to make sure. See, you can only do regular shafts. So we're gonna go ahead and do basically a thousand of these. And I also think this is a task to do these uh, dragon javelin heads or whatever. I'm gonna double check that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be chopping regular logs for a bit first. And uh, making them into javelin shafts. So yeah, let's get this done. So there is in fact a task to create 100 dragon javelins. There it is. How much is that? That's 200 points. I didn't know it was this hard. Never mind. This actually alks for way less than this. I did not know that, but regardless, I'm going to make all of this into javelins because I like fletching XP. Wait a second. Wait a second. Venator shard. Is that the bow thingy that I just pulled? I think so. I think so. 7.4 million. Let's get out of here. Let's figure out what this thing does real quick. We're on 63 KC. Okay, I was on the right track, but not quite. I need five of these in order to make a bow. And then all the excess ones can just be turned into the essence. So this is one out of five. Let's keep it going. Let's just say I've been checking the drop rates and I should have four Venator shards by now. And I have one because it's one in 20 drop rate. Well, one in 100 in main game, one in 20 in leagues so i'm very unlucky uh, when it comes to venator shards i'm just hoping i can get it done by 300 kc i want to try to see what happens if i do this can i skip the phase ah it heals interesting so i thought that maybe there is an angle where i skip this phase uh but no you have to still do it 83 kc enough mass spot for now i'm gonna go ahead and probably park myself at the trees and finish off 50 million woodcutting right now i gotta afk for a bit and after that i'm probably gonna have to afk mining as well i'm just gonna park myself on rune essence rocks it's like 300 400k xp an hour and it's like completely afk i click once every 20 minutes and it gets me essence which i can then use for 50 million rune crafting xp as well now you may be wondering why are you afking so much well simply put today is going to be a little bit of a day off oh also 22 million 3 million to go until we can get a bunch of points there I'm so close to so many points, but I don't really see an angle to where I could make more money. 
I'm jumping in ideas of what I want to do, but I'm so close to 25 mil. Maybe it's not a good time to start skipping what I'm doing. So how about I sell this guy all of this stuff and uh, let's see how much not bad when, when when i'm doing pyramid i'm gonna start stockpiling those because this guy buys both stone and uh, gold artifacts for honestly decent money i was unaware but this shop buys my rubies for 700 coins and it buys my diamonds for 1400 we probably have enough money just in that and i can also sell all of these runes to store shops so let's get 25 mil after i do reach 25 mil i still need to make 100 mil more so money is good right now. Um, but yeah, I did not realize how much money I just had in that. There it is, 25 million obtained. Let's get a bit more and uh, let's do that big task. So what I need to create this demonic throne is left click buy one. We're gonna need 25 magic stones and each one of those costs a million. So well, let's say goodbye to our money. Boom, 25, we have some extra money. Let's grab the hammer, let's grab the saw, let's build this thing. I need to build a throne room. There it is, good old throne room, we build it. And all I need to do is we need to build the throne space of a demonic. Let me just not mess this one up. Yeah, demonic throne, 99 construction requirement, 25 million spent on this thing, 400,000 XP, 400 points for this thing. We're up to 61,280 and uh, we look like a demon actually, I like it. But as I said, I'm gonna park myself and AFK right now. But first, we need to check the high scores. Current high score situation is we're ranked 303, so nothing too crazy there. Let's go ahead and finish 50 million woodcutting and probably a lot of mining. I'll get to you back once I'm done AFK. Here we go, 50 million woodcutting XP. And I'm probably just gonna move on to mining right now. I am currently playing New World, the new patch. So uh, we're just gonna AFK this for a bit. Ladies, gentlemen, they should do it very fast. So I've been AFKing mining and when I'm not AFKing I've been doing a little bit of mole. This is us fully completing the mole by killing it 300 times and we have gotten 177, wait hold up a little bit more, 349 mole skins, a lot of mole claws, I'll trade these in for nests, put them in the bank and then use that to get my farming XP up. Boys, I'm gonna be completely honest, I've just been AFKing these wyverns on my laptop while watching TV and uh, we got it. Wyvern Visage, 1 in 13,000 drop and uh, this is our first out of the three Dragonfire Shields that we're going for. Arguably the worst one for us, but let's go ahead and figure out how to make this thing. It's gonna be probably decent points and now I'm completely finished with all the Fossil Island activities. So that is pretty exciting and we don't have that much left to do in this league to be honest let's start working on the other shields so i know i said i did everything fossil island related but i really didn't so how about i actually do everything fossil island related okay we'll start with this that is 16,000 xp for 40 points <laughs> not bad not bad we take those uh the next thing obviously i'm gonna come back here and uh, actually make the shield Okay, so I do believe if I use my visage over here on the strange machine, we are now a proud owner of one of the three very rare shields. Here's the ancient wyvern shield for a grand total of 200 points. This is a beautifully looking shield and uh, yeah, unfortunately it's magic related. So on Vorkath, I'm probably going to get DFS and the other shield, which I don't know the name of, which will be a full best in slot shield for us. But for now, this is a very good start. But now I have one less activity that I can AFK on, which is a bit of a shame. That is us mining runite ore fragment uh, for, well, 200 points. Somehow that is 200 extra points. And now I need to unlock a thing here, but I'll be honest, I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. So I have to figure out what is going on. I just ran out and that was me completing a volcanic mine game. Uh, I want to see how many points that was. So that was 920 points. I need to check. I need to buy something from here. All right, I figured it out. The very last thing we need to do in Fossil Island to completely complete everything Fossil Island related is to buy this ultra fertile soil spell. We are on 920 points. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, this is a very advanced method. You start the volcanic mine, you pick the rock, you put the rock down, you mine the rock. You wait for the rock to spawn, you do it all over again until you have 300 points and then you leave and you repeat. And I'm gonna do that until I have all the rewards. All right, and just like that, ultra fertile soil spell. Let's go ahead and unlock it. 
and that's also 200 points when I read it maybe. There we go, buy an ash covered stone, 200 points, we just got 400 points like that. I'm gonna do a quick relog and check what rank I'm at the moment. We're currently ranked 318, maintaining our around 300 rank, pretty nice. I just spent my morning doing mage training arena, there's a 400 point task here I still haven't done and honestly when I do TOA, I kinda don't wanna do it with void anymore, I wanna have a little bit better gear. We're on 62,480 points, if I trade this guy, I have grinded quite a decent amount of points. I already have Master Wand, Mage's Book, Bones to Peaches, and I've also purchased Infinity Boots already. So let's go ahead and see if I calculated this correctly. Start off with a top hat, this, and I'm a bit sure on the Alchemist, and I don't know if I'll need another pair of Infinity Boots. Let's see if this does it. This does not do it. So let's go ahead and get a little bit more points. I can now purchase infinity gloves as well and oh man I need another pair of boots because I made them eternal wait maybe with this oh never mind there we go it works okay I don't need to do another pair of boots all right we're chilling 400 points nice and free here we go another TOA we're just hoping for Mazori chaps there's a purple it's a duo it's not mine best of luck I'm gonna assume he just needs a shadow and he gets a ring you hate to see it we get a Breach of the Scarab, a bunch of diamonds, some Cactus Spines, which is actually decent, and a lot of Dragodar tips. This is actually probably not the worst white chest you can get. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, I died, so this is not gonna be mine, but best of luck. Ooh, Mazori head. Oh, nice new item for him and we get a bunch of dragon darts, which is pretty good. Many hours of AFKing later and obviously a lot of uh, clicking. Here it is, 50 million rune crafting experience. And as you guys know, when I'm doing other things in life, I'm at the moment just AFKing the rune essence mine. All the way up to 37 million mining XP. So I also got a bunch of points there. We're now up to 63,680 points. And I think I need to do a little bit more AFKing. And then we'll figure out what we are doing next. Here is Maspa KC number 100 and I'm almost at the saturated heart, however, I still only have one Venator Shards, which is insanely unlucky because I should have five by now and I should have the bow completed as well. Uh, but I do believe I'm missing like 4000 Ancient Essence, so let's get that quickly and then we make our saturated heart for more points. There we go, I believe it took us 104 KC to be able to finish the saturated heart. If I grab my essence, I have over 150,000. If I grab my heart, we have it. So let's go ahead, I've never done this in RuneScape before in my life. 150,000 essence in order to make this thing and uh, maybe I need to use it for points. There it is, 200 points for that. Boom, this now boosts our magic level up by 13 levels permanently until we basically run out and we need to click it again. But uh, yeah, that's pretty nice way, I believe, to end today's episode. There are still things missing and I've still been procrastinating TOA and I've still been procrastinating next. But I do believe it is more important to just enjoy the game and have fun rather than do the same grind over and over again and hoping for a one drop that just never seems to drop. But we're ending this episode on 63,880 points on rank 300 exactly. As always, it has been a pleasure to have everybody watch the video till the end. And if you enjoyed it, consider giving the video a like, maybe even subscribe. And I'll see you again with one more final leagues video after this one. Have a good one, have a beautiful holidays, and bye-bye.